Chris Sells got a wind of this, okay? Chris Sells heard all about this. He Ended up leaving a comment or something too. saying, Tell Six Nine, he not the king of YouTube. I Here go Christopher Sells trying to be relevant again. What is good, Diamond Dynasty, baby? Welcome back. To another mother freaking video. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just get <laughs> right. Let's not go too soon now. I feel the same. And a lot of girls hit it right now. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, hey. I would rather pass that blunt to you. Like we used to do. And today, baby, y'all already know what it is by the title, y'all. Clarence NYC TV gets put in his place, in his motherfucking place, by Chrissy. Yes, Chrissy, Petty Chrissy, Petty Daniels, Petty Daniel, <laughs> and Messy Monday, which is goddamn Zoe, I am Zoe, whatever you want to call him, right? So, we are going to be reacting to Ma and Lewis. Y'all already know I fuck with Martin Lewis. Shout out to him. So we're going to be reacting to his video. Clarence gets put in his place by Chrissy and motherfucking Zoe. Okay, so we're going to get right into this video, y'all. Let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel about this situation. I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard about this tea. But if it's the first time you're hearing about this tea, we are going to be reacting to this together. Okay, I love y'all so freaking much, man. Thank you guys so fucking much for 22,000 subscribers, man. We just growing, we glowing, we going up, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate all of my Diamond Dynasty members out there. Diamond Dynasty gang, you know what I'm saying? Diamond gang in the motherfucking building. I appreciate all of you guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful motherfucking Wednesday, pre-Thanksgiving, pre-turn up, you know what I'm saying? Pre-Turkey Day, pre-Mac and Cheese, pre-Beans, all of that shit, you know what I'm saying? Pre-Cranberry. I love y'all so freaking much, man. I'm wishing everybody out there a happy Thanksgiving. I should have an upload for tomorrow, so just letting y'all know that. I should be still posting on Thanksgiving, so we shall see. I love y'all so freaking much. Y'all already know how the family stuff goes. I might happen to miss Thursday, but if I miss Thanksgiving, I will come with a double upload on Friday. Can we make that deal? All right, we're gonna make that deal, but I'm gonna try my best to still upload on motherfucking Thanksgiving. So while y'all eating y'all turkeys and cranberries and juices and berries and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all sipping on whatever cup you got, then you'll be able to watch a Diamond Life video, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, I love you guys so much. Overnight, I hit 22,000 subscribers, 22 Diamond Dynasty members. I appreciate all of you guys. None of this would be possible without you, you know what I'm saying, joining the team. So I appreciate you guys so freaking much. I'm not going to quit saying that because it's always going to rain true and um, that's just what it is. So if you're tired of hearing me say that, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be supporting me so goddamn much. You shouldn't be telling your Uncle Joe that he's a hoe and he spread it all over the goddamn town, you know? Because now we went from like 12, 14K to 22 motherfucking K, you know what I'm saying? So let's keep going up. 30K on the way, 25K on the way. I love y'all so freaking much once again. Let's get into this freaking video, y'all. I'm trying not to edit as much because posting every fucking day, it can get taxing, it already takes enough time to edit, put the put the footage together, shoot the fucking video, edit the video, post the video, make the thumbnail, put the tag, all this extra shit, put the ads, you know what I'm saying? It's just a whole bunch of stuff that you gotta do. So I try to keep this as simple as possible. So like I said, subscribe to the link down below or it could be up above. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below exactly how you feel about this whole Clarence Chrissy, you know, I'm 6 9 messy Monday, goddamn Zoe situation, okay? Make sure if you have a reaction request that you want me to do, that you DM me at DZ Studology 101 on Instagram, and I will possibly be able to react to your video next, okay? So I love y'all so freaking much, man. Without further ado, you might as well tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their angel mama, tell their uncle Joe that he's a hoe, and let's get right into this motherfucking video, guys. Let's get it. The one and only <laughs> our most loved midget in New York has gotten himself into some drama. The soccer dad has been on the internet again. Not the soccer dad. Smack yet to leave again. I'm sorry, y'all. I just got to give my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I try not to be biased, but leave in the comments down below if you think Clarence is boring as fuck. Just this little piece right here where you see 6 ix energy. You go from 6 ix energy to Clarence throwing water in the crowd. Like he's supposed to be turned while throwing water in the crowd. But look how slow 
and how lazy and how boring he throws this water. You got 6'9", right? Turn. Look at that shit. That nigga is slow as a goddamn slug. This nigga here, boy. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all feel the same way. has gotten himself into some drama. The soccer dad has been on the internet again talking smack yet to leave again with his tail Niggas between overrated. his legs. Zoe's involved. Had your kids. Six, Had your wives. Involved. Damn, Chris Sells is involved. Even Chrissy, man. Even Chrissy. Bruh. Somehow got involved in this little drama. I thought that shit was fake. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Whenever y'all saw Chrissy involved in this whole Clarence situation, if y'all thought that that was fake, I thought it was fake tweets or fake snaps, whatever it was. I'm not quite sure what platform it was on, but I do remember Chrissy going back and forth with Clarence, but I thought it was fake because y'all y'all already know how many people fake screenshots and shit like that. So I thought it was absolutely fake, but it seems like from this video, it is real. So let's get into it. Drama on the internet. And today we're going to go through all that. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest drama. Smash that like button. And y'all, I saw 6,000 of you guys vote for a freaking video. 6,000 of y'all cannot like my video. Leave me a comment. <laughs> go out. I'm like, you're going to go trip. Really 6, <coughs> and they couldn't, you know, <coughs> that little button right there. Can you hit that? <laughs> Simple. Just hit it. If you guys have any story or leads, all my social media links are in the description below. So let's get straight into the drama. And yeah, by the way, I'm doing a voiceover. Woo! Anyway, it was a beautiful sunny day somewhere in America. Queen was yelling at Clarence. Oh, is she singing? I don't know. It looked like she yelling. She yelling at Clarence. Get your fat ass off the stage. This is my stage. I'm singing. She's screaming at Clarence. And the shade room decide to post it because it's so much drama. And obviously, I'm joking. She's not screaming at Clarence. She's actually screaming at Chris. She's like, please give me that again anyway <laughs> she's screaming at chris after the shade we made the post six nine man i'm really bad at these names six nine if you guys don't know who he is he is boy if you're a big famous circuit clown in new york okay. and then, no he's a clown oh he's a rapper yeah he's a rapper he looks like a beautiful lesbian at gay pride. he sure do he ended up commenting under that Look post like that shade room posted saying she got our boyfriend asking for a friend how did y'all feel about that six nine commenting under somebody's post asking if queen has a boyfriend Now we all know 6ix9ine is a troll, but can we just give it up for Queen? Cause she is she is definitely in it to win it now. Okay, 6ix9ine is acknowledging Queen Nija. So y'all already know, my nigga. The initiation has taken place. Queen Nija is in the industry. And guys, y'all better pray for her. Cause hey, all I'm saying is y'all might see some tricky shit happen with Queen Nija here in the near future. Don't say I ain't warn you. Anyway, you know that comedian, just hilarious. She posted under that saying, breaking news, don't get <laughs> up, a hey, Clarence. Yeah, she already is from the king of New York, stupid. Hold up, did he just say the king of New York? I'm sorry, everybody, but the king of New York is Donald Trump. Oh! <laughs> I'll give Clarence this. He's the king of all shadows. Anyway, the shade room end up posting Shame. that and 6 9 end up saying... Hey, wait, wait. Did he say the king of New York? I don't think that's how you spell YouTube. You know what? Let me take a seat. Anyway. Well, he gotta be the king of something if you commenting on the nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? You 6 9 we talking about Claire Bears way down, way down here. 6 9 way up here. So, you know what I'm saying? Why are you arguing with little niggas if they're not relevant? If he's just a YouTube nigga, why are you arguing with a YouTube nigga? You know what I'm saying? You giving him the platform to speak. You know what I'm saying? You blowing him up because you got a bigger platform. That's all I'm saying. Never speak on nobody who got a smaller platform than you when they hating on you. Nigga, you don't speak on that shit. Keep it moving. Hey, herpes. I mean, Chris Sells got a wind of this, okay? Chris Sells heard all about this. He and up leaving a comment on something shit. saying, Tell 6 he not the king 
of YouTube. I'm Here go Christopher Sales trying to be relevant again, guys. So he's basically only a matter saying of time. he's the king of YouTube. Bitch, no, you're the king of all scams, okay? <laughs> Sit down somewhere. Anyway, Zoe left a comment under this post. Oh my god, it, all the drama started over a goddamn post. You serious? And Zoe was like, oop, she should be interested. Law Queen and Chris equal baby. Tip out met clearance, baby. Now call 6 9 If it ain't about <laughs> me, let's kiki. Next case. I don't know what happened, but it looked like clearance got really upset, really triggered. Anyway, clearance said, Focus on those little wild out church, shorty, beloved. By now, every time. Why does clearance always get in his fucking feelings, dude? Like, why do you always get in your fucking feelings to the point where you gotta address a nigga who, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to. Yeah, Zoe is up there. I guess you could compare the two, Clarence and Zoe and shit. But is it really worth even giving that attention or time to comment? And now you just want to trickle all. I mean, I guess it's for publicity. I guess it's for, you know what I'm saying, clout or whatever you want to call it. You know, the more shit he can talk or the more he looks good defending his wife or his not his wife his baby mama you know what i'm saying maybe he feels like he has a slider event the uh, slider upper hand i'm not quite sure guys but to me if i was in clarence's position i would just shut up and enjoy my life live my best life and be in the motherfucking background okay that's it or to be honest if i was clarence i would not only be in the background but i would also be working on doing my own shit i would be working on my own fucking clothing line blowing that motherfucker up while i have the platform to do it why not? Why not focus on your dream instead of following behind your bitch? You know what I'm saying? You're following behind your bitch. What are you doing with your life? Be a real man. Grab your fucking nutsack. And motherfucking make some shit happen for yourself. Okay? Contribute to the pot. Contribute. That's all I'm saying. Clarence says, beloved, we know he's getting smart and sleek. But he's trying to look like a wise man or something. Bitch, your beard ain't fooling anyone. Anyway, I am Zoe end up responding to Clarence saying, Clarence, let me speak y'all lingo. I'm screaming. Oh. Oh. Isn't that what you said? Anyway, I struck a nerve, I see. So while I get my wild out checks, YouTube checks, tour checks and brand deals that I accomplish on my own. Mm, shots fired. You continue to focus on hoping Queen don't leave you like she did Chris. Mm. So you can so you can keep her checks. Mm. I'm not the one. Mm. Clarisha bad. Baby. Came for that ass, boy. Diana, you, you was listening known. to us for a few, please. Hold on. <sighs> Don't start posting me or Queen. Now, we already know how you feel about us. Just keep us off your page. Thank like, who cares what you say? You and Queen can say all day, please stop posting me or Queen. But people are going to do it. You're wasting your fucking time. You're wasting your fucking energy typing shit, asking people to stop posting about you or Queen. It's just stupid, bro. Because you are a public fucking figure that's what happens when you're a public fucking figure people talk about your ass okay so i mean ain't no going back now you feel me it ain't no going back it ain't no rewinding the time niggas know who you are niggas know who queen is so and people have the right to their opinion that's it that's it shoulder yes your majesty <laughs> He then continues saying, I can't find that Zoe comment, but you named all these things you do and still don't know who you oh, are. Oh, we know who he is. And you still don't make as much as, as bro. The man, you big man. Congrats, though, on everything you accomplished. Everyone knows Zoe, okay? I know Zoe is the creepy guy that likes to ask little teenage boys to show his hands and show his breeze. Boy, if you But some people <laughs> know him as the entertainer on YouTube. Very funny, bringing the shade, talking. The nigga's hilarious. Comment down below if y'all watch Zoe on YouTube, man. The nigga's hilarious. I'm not a big Wild and Out fan, so I could care less about that shit. You know what I'm saying? It would be cool to have the experience just to go on the show. Not go on the show, but to actually, you know, be a spectator on the show and actually see what actually happens you know during commercial break and all that but while and out just doesn't do it for me but i love zoe's channel i love messy monday i like when he does them mukbangs mukbangs and shit like that he just talks shit 
about his everyday life or his past experiences and he eats food, leave me a comment down below and let me know if y'all fuck with Zoe as well. And about drama, but for Clarence? I have no idea who you are. But anyway, under this price, Chrissy. I don't know what's going on in Chrissy's world, but something's going on. She went under that purse saying, DF up. He made more than you. If you do close your YouTube channel, you'll be broke. So would it. It really is true. And if we really look at- It's really not true because the way Clarence is riding Queen's coattails, baby, I mean, he gonna be set for life whether he quit YouTube or not. It's statistics. Zoe actually makes more money than Clarence does. And I believe Zoe actually has more followers than Clarence. Mm. I have no idea. Talking all that shit. And the <laughs> fact that Clarence brought up followers and money really shows how insecure he is. In not only that, but he is fucking- He is- one cocky ass, jealous ass nigga, okay? From what I can see, just seeing this and the previous stuff that he has done, for him to be such a humble nigga as he claims, he sure doesn't, he sure has a way of showing how humble he is. That's all I'm gonna say, you know what I'm saying? Y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know if y'all really think Clarence is as humble as he says. Instead of addressing what Zay actually said. Now Clarence ended up saying, he a whole fan. You watch my videos. You know everything I do. I don't know who you are. The mayo. Who are you? Leave me alone. It's funny um, how he claims he doesn't know who he is. But he's reading show. these posts and everything that he says. So that's pretty interesting. Now let's get something straight. As a drama channel, <laughs> I don't watch Clarence's videos. <coughs> I do not watch Queen's videos Hell unless no, you boring. guys tell me to. And I Thanks. appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much, by the way. Because honestly, if it wasn't for you guys telling me to watch this, watch this, I will have no idea. Because honestly, their vlogs are boring. They are. Honestly, I honestly bored me to sleep. I do not watch these. YouTubers. <laughs> the only time I watch them is because you guys tell So yeah, that's pretty much what it is, y'all. Leave me a comment down below and let me know exactly how you guys feel. I have noticed that Queen and Clarence's views have went down, down, down. Down, 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 okay? After everybody figured out what was going on, the whole pregnancy thing, the whole, oh, we really do like each other. We've been talking. We've been fucking. We've been knowing that shit, okay? I'm glad you guys finally put it out to the world that you guys are smashing. And now you guys have a kid on the way. That's probably the only reason why you let us know that you guys are smashing okay so yeah and by the way clarence didn't seem to be happy about having a child okay with queen nigel so i'm gonna just put that out there no shade but shade okay leave me a comment down below let me know exactly how you feel about this situation okay today is gonna be another double upload day so like i said i'm gonna have i'm probably gonna have a post for tomorrow i can't promise y'all that but if i don't on friday it's gonna be a double upload i'm talking one two three into the phone on one and one and one and two because that was three uploads yesterday killed me okay but anyway no excuses we got to make it happen diamond dynasty i love you guys so freaking much let's hit this 23 motherfucking k let's hit this motherfucking 23k i love you guys from the bottom of my heart and my balls if i had them you know what i'm saying if i had them then i would have them they would have already dropped but since they didn't drop because i didn't have them i just don't have them okay if that makes sense it does if it doesn't it doesn't but if you fuck with me i fuck with you and i love y'all so freaking much make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel it could be up above down below comment down below exactly how you feel all your opinions and your thoughts on this situation here here chrissy why you drag your ass up in this bitch why you drag your ass up in this bitch okay now you trying to, Chris Sales reminds me of Chris C, okay? Both of you guys is trying to stay relevant, you feel me? Anyways guys, without further ado, make sure that you DM me at DG Studology 101 with your video reaction request that you want me to do. Make sure that you tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mom and tell they uncle Joe that he's a hoe. And I will see y'all in the next mother freaking video. Peace and I love y'all. Jip too hard, don't stand too close. You gon' fuck around and drown. Off this way, doing all these shows. I've been on the road, I don't care where I go. No